Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Daily Survey Guides. So I received most of comments from my viewers to make English version. So this video is for uh, English speaker and uh, English uh, listeners. So please uh, like and also comment to appreciate us because we are uh, here for you to make this type of video informative video so you can learn from this so uh, this is Sukhya total station this is uh, CX52 so all uh, Sukhya total stations are same uh, function uh, first of all we discuss about this uh, basic settings uh, configuration and EDM uh, uh, and shortcut keys here are three shortcut keys for uh, uh, like uh, prism uh, tracking and uh, razor light these for these two three things are shortcuts so for uh, change prism uh, to refractor list and to prism and to card uh, this is the icon you can see this is the icon you can see the this part shortcut shortcut for this is the shift key when you press this change so you see this now um, prism list like uh, it will take shot on everything like uh, soil like concrete and it will not take shot by plastic and prism uh, also this one is the prism if you uh, if you take shot on prism so this for prism and this is uh, this is for card so this is the one shortcut key and the other shortcut key is the star one if you want to on your razor so this is the razor uh, point when you cursor this side this is on so now you can see the razor like so this easy for helper that he he know where uh, the points where is the where i need to keep card this is for uh, razor okay so the star then all the way last and on off from here you can on off from here you can also change the contrast like see this contracts you see this is the contrast your screen contrast okay so this is the uh, from here also you can change your uh, reflector like now is sheet now non prism and now is prism i will select non prism okay so these are the shortcuts and now uh, also one thing more in configuration uh, observation setting uh, observation condition in observation condition here you must need to select this uh, horizontal distance and this one horizontal distance need to grid line this other option is ground the ground is little bit round from grid uh, so you must need to select this grid uh, tilt yes and tilt yes vertical and horizontal horizontal and vertical uh, this one yes this one and this vertical observation is zenith zenith must need this is zenith here coordinates so in some total station easting first and some total station nothing first if you want to change from here you can change so most of the drawings uh, are uh, actually from AutoCAD everywhere in excel we use this easting pass so we will select uh, easting pass some people like northing pass so this is the northing pass but we will select easting pass so these are the basic settings okay now in configuration 
condition instruction you also unit setting from here you can set your units units this is must be C uh, temperature centigrade pressure uh, HPA this is angle in degree and this one in meter if you use foot you can also select foot and from foot here you can use use feet and inches feet so we will select uh, meters okay and the other setup is uh, one key function in key function you can change your uh, page in key function here you can see this is the page page one this from function you can change your page so this is page two and this is page three you can adjust these uh, icons these uh, uh, options from there here in configuration uh, in configuration and key function define key function okay so i selected this menu then then tilt we use uh, most when you set machine when we set machine for bubbling and then coordinates we most use and then so line the mayor uh, and edm resection so line so this i select this second you can change from here so for example you change this so line to any other option you must you only need to uh, press the cur uh, cursor uh, downside or upside so i want this here so uh, so line okay so this these are the here this is L mlm this is rem this is uh, slope horizontal vertical and this is so arc so this from here you can change your options for the to to easy uh, to easy for you in the main page okay so now we will discuss the back side so back side for back side we need to come in this page coordinates also you can select resection from there so I also I already selected resection so I will come in resection in ENZ so this is only resection but if you in come in coordinates and orientation uh, occupied orientation in occupied orientation you can see also resection and also backside from two points so backside from two points mean from um, this is the um, center uh, this is the centering of this machine you can see the point you can see the point so this is the point on this point I have set the machine I have to set the machine and put the coordinates here if uh, the coordinates are saved in your total station you can load and you can select that I didn't save that coordinate so I just uh, write there uh, manually and next one you need to backside in EZ so here you have to select the backside coordinate I will load from here and this one is V74 V74 is uh, my point to take backside so this one enter then ok then you need to uh, keep your helper uh, prism on that point which you selected and you have coordinate of that point and then you need to make um, uh, a shot like mayor so first i want to keep the cursor on that point for which i have selected this here so you must now I I will select this uh, prism uh, reflectorless to shot on concrete. You can see I have to show this. Okay, so you need to keep your cursor uh, on the same point which uh, you give the coordinate in backside and measure. Then okay 
and then you have to if you want to check you have to escape and so line and you have to select uh, so data so data so you have to select that point 74 and then you have okay and then my year you must need this one zero zero and this one mm, zero zero okay so this is the back side you are back if you uh, there here is zero zero so it's mean your uh, back side is okay so this one 3 mm difference no problem this is the back side uh, from two point and now we have to check the other uh, method orientation occupied orientation and this is the resection for resection you must need at least two point and also you can do from three up to ten points to take your uh, observation from that point and how much more points uh, give you more accuracy for the back side so in in this case i will select enz we need the back side for easting northing you can also do for level for elevation this one is downside okay first uh, i will explain this uh, easting northing elevation so th here you can also put your elevation but sometime uh, due to rod we must need to check this elevation so here uh, in, in, uh, uh, enter and then Meyer first point first point you Meyer first point then yes now you have to put coordinates for that point here you can manually select uh, coordinate and you can put but I have already saved so I will select the saved coordinate and then next so you have now you need to target the other other point and make a shot so I have selected this is the point other point 73 so I make the cursor on the point and I have to measure that point then yes now you if you don't have coordinates saved then you have to put coordinate from here from your keypad and i already saved so i will select that one v73 enter and then calculate here if you want to take another point you need to press this next and target that point and then give coordinates so now i want to calculate i want to take uh, back side from two points resection from two points so calculate now here we can check how much is our difference from result you can see here first point zero zero second point one milli minus in nothing second point also nothing one milli so it's okay uh, and one time escape and then okay and then set is met yes then also okay so now you can check your observation from here also and if you want to check and come in so data and uh, select that point okay for example here this uh, option not coming load when you make cursor down so it comes so here from here 73 and okay and i will check you can see this is zero zero so this is the back side uh, the resection method and back side from two points and resection from three or two points and one another thing back side for elevation come in same uh, orientation and then resection and from here elevation now from here you have to select elevation now for elevation you need only one point reference to take your elevation uh, what is your elevation is depend on your site on your benchmark so i will first you have to target your reference 
where is your reference so you will target that reference and then give elevation of that point so i targeted the elevation okay so you have target and make the horizontal cursor exact on the level okay so now you have to measure when you measure then here is the height of the rod you have to fix height of the rod i will use this zero and yes and here the reference elevation how much is your reference elevation in my case this is minus 2.97 so calculate and then okay you can you have to escape two times and then observation you have to measure that point again it will give your same elevation which you put and now if you change your uh, uh, telescope downside and then you check elevation it will give you the same elevation from that reference point which you uh, need so this is the elevation uh, method the elevation process you can set your uh, total station and now where you need your uh, uh, level or coordinates you can make now your machine is set for elevation also and for uh, coordinate also so now now i will discuss about the data job so how you can edit job how you can select job and also how you can add points and delete points uh, i will discuss now this is the main page when you escape this is the main page in main page you can see here this is the name of machine model serial number date time okay so here when you escape here one option is data go to data now if you want to select any job you can enter from here and job selection here you can change your job you must need to change in both in job selection and coordinates of job like this is the memory of uh, total station and this is the uh, list uh, where you work now okay so in from list for example i am selecting this one jr uh, con select this and then downside from list same you must need these both same because if you don't uh, save these both same when you take data then your data will be saved in another uh, job okay so this is the job selection job detail from here you can see job detail this is the job name from here you can change name of the job in this total session actually uh, only five jobs you cannot add more but other new latest uh, total session you can add you can edit and there are too much job but here you can see only five one two three four five only five jobs but it's enough for working okay so this is the, the job detail in job detail you can see job name from here you can change the name and uh, bottom side you can see this is the scale factor the scale factor in some area this is changed like uh, in some area it's come like 0 0.99 we working uh, in uh, according to the grid line so sometime in global area in ground and distance this is changes this is not equal to the same to the grid line so for that uh, we can we calculate the scale factor and then we put the scale factor if in that area is not same to the grid uh, grid distance so here we can change from here you can change the scale factor job deletion here a job when you delete any job uh, from here you can delete but uh, remember you cannot delete job when you take 
even once uh, coordinate save in your job so here it make a star so that one you cannot delete you can see send first it's mean uh, save your data uh, in your computer so then you can delete uh, in this uh, total station no usb option and no usb port but you can connect this to the cable here is the cable cable port and you can transfer your data by through cable and software uh, sokia link sokia link software so from here you for example i this is already uh, deleted so you see this is yes this confirm zero zero point but uh, if i take any one shot here then i cannot delete this job here welcome star sign so this is a uh, uh, job deletion this is the comma output which one you need a s type mean str type t type mean text type okay so this is the uh, and other thing if you want to add any point uh, or delete any point so this is the second option in data second option non data non data when you enter non data if you want to add any points uh, coordinates uh, so then you can enter key in code here you can write like this and 7400.00 okay and here you can add level 00, zero. i am adding 00, zero. so the here you can put your number for example i leaving this as per b75 and okay so this point is saved in your same job this is uh, the method to save your uh, any point key in code if you want to delete so uh, enter this one and now we saved this this point we can delete this enter and delete this is the end view here you can see your point is doing nothing which are saved uh, before from here you can next previous you can see these are the points saved so this is the data job edition okay we need to go the other uh, option uh, so when you want to mark single coordinates when you want to mark single coordinates so uh, options also i have explained in this pages you can see this is page one from here you can function from function key you can change the page this is the other functions and this is the other function so first of all we have to explain this so data this is so data from menu you can also select this one this is so okay so so you have to enter this in so data and now you need to put coordinate uh, which you need to mark so here you have to put coordinate i uh, for example i want to check the v72 uh, point if you if you are uh, save already you can select from load otherwise you can you can put coordinate here okay so i want to mark this 72 enter then okay now here you can see this one l and this is uh, 32 degree how much you turn your uh, uh, total station this will give you your angle so now for in this case when you when we select this this give uh, direct horizontal angle for that point so you we must need this zero zero first of all you have to move your uh, total station like this this is far right then in slow motion 
and you must need this direct horizontal angle zero okay now this is up to five uh, second no problem two second three second five second no problem now uh, this is lock now you must need to lock this it's it's that it cannot move other direction because this is the direct horizontal angle to that point and the upside this 10 meter is the distance for that point so now uh, you have to and uh, target that uh, point uh, or uh, say to help her to keep card first you need uh, him to make in the same line and then make a shot here 23 it's minus 23 means to go back 23 centimeters it's too much So this is the result for that point. You must need uh, how much you need accuracy, and that you have to measure. So this is the point. This is the point. There, that is the point we 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 get. Okay. So this is the single point coordinates and SO line, SO data. The other thing. is a uh, so line from menu you can also select from here menu and here this is uh, so line for so line come in define baseline in define baseline for line you must need to find two points to mark you have to enter now first for example i am giving 1.73 and now first point i have given then okay now i have to load the other point 72 so now i gave him two points now the total station gives me the azimuth angle the helix distance from both and this is the 12.59 is the distance between these two points and then we have to okay scale you must need if uh, scale factor change then here you need to scale change the scale but uh, oftenly you don't need to change this one you don't need to change this one and okay now here two options comes so if you want to fix a point from uh, by a certain distance like 5 meter 6 meter uh, or from the same line uh, right side 20 cm or 30 cm or 1 meter or left side so you have to select this one for example this increment is increment mean a uh, first option increment mean to the next point how much need the next point like 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter so this is one normal no need from line for example i need 5 meter and offset i need 0 0 so this one here okay and then so okay and it give you direct horizontal angle and you have to make this horizontal angle zero and you have to uh, mark same as so data the other option is here is one thing and offset for example you need uh, right side 1 meter so you have to put which one is your right side from first if you stand on your first uh, point and see to the second point so your right is right and your left is the left of the line so for right you have to select plus 1 and for left you have to select minus 1 here if you select minus how much you need for example 20 cm 30 cm 1 meter as you need you have to select that one and you have must need to uh, give your sign plus or minus to uh, take the exact point so this is the for example and then so and then same process for the same so data now here come the so arc so arc you have to select so arc 
and define the arc from here you need the pt uh, coordinates and then okay to second pt second pt coordinates and then you must know which one is this curve how you know this i will explain this on on the paper that uh, it is the right curve or left curve for example from pt1 you go to uh, first you point you go pt1 and from pt1 you see to the pt2 you go to toward pt2 your right is right and your left is left so this is the left right so for example this left and radius you must need to give radius so it will calculate all the data you see I gave him only 50, so it gave you uh, gave me angle, arc, uh, card also. Okay, so if you um, you mark uh, arc and distance uh, or card, so it's better to arc. For example, you want to change, you can change from here arc. So it's better arc. Okay, this one also I will explain on paper that how you can mark card or arc so this point came on the same uh, curve like it not changes it gave you same point but it uh, best arc arc so this one here okay and then same process for uh, same so data here you 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 have to direct horizontal angle zero and you have to make this uh, zero also so this is the so arc okay this is the point projection we don't need more this is the pt to pt this is same line but uh, if you don't have coordinate and you have two points so you need to pt and you have to observe first point and then you have to observe second point and then same process of so line intersection here uh, for example, you need corner of, uh, if uh, missing your corner of two lines in square, this one also I will explain on paper, so you can understand. So here, intersection, for example, you have two lines, but that uh, are uh, sometime in curve, in curve, we have the PT and PC, but we don't have the intersection point. So from here, you can find your intersection. Uh, you can you can mark your intersection point where my mm, intersection point uh, come as per side. So this is you you have to give first point uh, a PT and second point PT and then ismet uh, ismet like uh, second point here ismet like your angle your bearing and then uh, is met up uh, bearing up your first point to what the intersection and then distance and then second point uh, bearing and then distance second point so from here if you okay for example uh, this one 50 and this one 50 so is met It will give you same same the point, same direct horizontal angle and you can mark so this is the intersection or uh, traverse we don't need because we using coordinates so we don't need traverse this is the road so all functions i have explained if something uh, this one uh, mlm mlm is the also one of function that you can use uh, for distance slope distance and for example i want to check one uh, you want to check uh, a line or uh, a thing for, uh, from a reference so here you go to reference to mlm mlm here you want you need uh, to measure that reference from where you want to check measure then mlm so here the slope distance, horizontal distance, and vertical distance. Now, uh, from where I take this reference, now if uh, I turn uh, my total station anywhere, and I have to select this MLM, this will give you all these th these three things like slope distance, uh, horizontal distance, and vertical distance from one point. 
so this is the MLM uh, sometime we need this and other any things uh, area 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 calculate if you want to calculate area you have to select area calculation now five points here you can you can measure more than five points for example I will observe this first point now I have to check another second point third point here from four points you can calculate but if you want to take more observation you can take more observation okay up to 10 points maybe up to more than 10 points you can now you only need to calculate and also you must need the first point again uh, if you not it will automatically uh, close the your first point so this is the area square area in meters and horizontal area slope area uh, horizontal area we need horizontal area 223 is uh, both coming same but we need horizontal area okay we need horizontal area so okay if you record you can record there okay so any other uh, give me comments if uh, i missing anything that you need so i will make uh, another video for you thank you please uh, appreciate this uh, channel by giving comments like and uh, uh, share with the people that you need this uh, information thank you